If you were born in India in the 1950s through the 70s, you grew up believing India invented the mixed economy. We were fed golden tales about how the commanding heights of our industry were not mortgaged to any sethi. That's how uh, disparagingly uh, a capitalist was referred to. Uh, but to a cuddly and altruistic state. It's only when our uh, economy blew up in the early 90s that we realized how hopelessly mixed up we were. Because in India, government dominance and ownership became the hallmark of what we called a mixed economy. It descended into a wealth-destroying form of state capitalism where the government assumed monopolistic control of operations ranging from transportation, banking, telecoms, hospitality, steel, coal, armaments, healthcare, universities and whatnot. Instead of uh, evolving into an enlightened welfare state, uh, we got tripped, we got trapped into a nowhere economy, neither a well-regulated free market nor a Soviet-style command and control structure. That gave us the slow growth of socialism and the inequalities of capitalism. In fact, the worst of both worlds. But uh, how do we now heal ourselves? To begin with, we must stop worshipping 1991's revolutionary reforms. I readily concede that these uh, trade, industry and uh, investment policy changes were hugely positive. Uh, you could even call them radical in unshackling us from the command and control apparatus of the 1970s. But the gear only shifted from first to second. While India's economic motor remained mixed and wobbly between private industry and a domineering government. And despite major strides, just, just look at where we have reached. There are 300 million citizens, that's our entire population at independence, who still continue to live below the poverty line. Uh, that puts us at an abysmal 100 out of 119 countries in the Global Hunger Index. And would you believe it? That puts us behind North Korea and war-ravaged Iraq. Another statistic, just the top five public sector company losers have sucked out one lakh crore. I'll repeat that, one lakh crore over 10 years. One more. For all our glorious reforms, we are at 131 out of 188 countries. Repeat that, 131 out of 188 countries on UNDP's Human Development Index. Half of our fifth standard students would flunk a second standard reading test. I mean, I can go on and on with this litany, but that would be as wasteful as the mess uh, created by our mixed economy. The time, therefore, has come to unmix it with a new slogan. And the new slogan would be more government and total entrepreneurship. Now, someone would think that I've just read out a typo uh, because all sort of usually free market prescriptions begin with roll back the state, free up entrepreneurial energy. Instead, I'm asking for more government. But to underline, I'm asking for more government, but on, in only five areas. One, education. I would say we should treble our spend, upgrade teaching and measurement skills, and we should uh, effectively administer a massive school voucher program. Two, uh, health. Again, we should treble our spend, put massive focus on uh, tuberculosis, malaria, and HIV. These are the three big killers. Uh, and we should effectively implement a universal health insurance program for the poor. Three, we should treble our spend again on rural and agriculture infrastructure. And once uh, these infrastructure assets have been developed, we should sell them uh, and plow the sales proceeds back into further creation. Likewise, fourth, with urban infrastructure, which we really should, the government should really invest uh, on a war footing. Uh, and again, uh, we should sell those completed assets uh, and redeploy those proceeds into uh, a virtuous cycle of urban infrastructure uh, investment. And five, uh, we should invest massively, massively really in modernizing uh, the very dilapidated state of 
uh, architecture uh, with which the governments, various governments, central government, state governments administer our people. We really should massively uh, upgrade that state governance infrastructure. That's it. Once our state has become much bigger, again I am saying we are asking for a bigger government, much bigger, and invested all its energy and resources in these five areas. After that, it should shrink completely from private economic activity, where markets can work and be regulated efficiently. We should just not be half-hearted uh, about this pullout. Make it a total, brutal, complete withdrawal.